Hey guys, it's James here from Fire and Kid, and today we have another <coughs> episode. Sorry, um, trying to clear my throat there before I start this long bit of commentary. Um, Golden Gun gameplay, so as I was saying, with the MP7. Now you've probably seen this so many times, but you know, I thought I may as well show it. Thought a bit more of a common gun this time because I usually have more uncommon guns but you know I'm trying to get the UMP 45 golden for you guys but it's a bit of a struggle at the minute I've got it autumn I think it's yeah autumn I keep saying fallen like I did in my last video anyway I've got um three gameplays for you guys I'm just gonna get the best clips out of them so I've got one on fallen one on the new map overwatch and then one on the other new map piazza so Hope you enjoy the uh, gameplay, and uh, I'm just today going to be talking about some uh, upcoming patches or updates, which will be coming to Modern Warfare 3 on all platforms, but obviously Xbox 360 first. Um, this should be coming. It could be coming on June the 14th when Xbox gets its new um, maps and stuff like that. And then PlayStation will get face off and all that lot. So I'll just tell you what's um, going to happen. So start off with community playlist updates. Desert Eagles in one of the chamber and all or nothing. So instead of the P99 which you usually get at the start. You'll get Desert Eagle because people have been saying. Oh I prefer the Desert Eagle. And lots of people are asking for it on Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, change infected weapons so that you know because it's the same things people aren't playing um, infected as much now because you know all the new game modes so they're going to change it around so that people play it more and stuff like that so there's more opportunity to get different um, what do you call it different guns and classes and stuff like that and next one is all or nothing and one in the chamber separate from gun game because a lot of people prefer now this is happening because a lot of people prefer all or nothing and one in the chamber to gun game now I don't know why this just been asked for a lot throughout the community that it would be separated I actually prefer gun game to all or nothing so for me it would be one in the chamber, gun game, and all or nothing. That would be my ranking order. So, you know, I'm not too bothered, but they're, they're going to separate it in playlists and stuff like that. So, um, add community playlist leaderboards. So, for all in, all or nothing and infected and drop zone. So, <coughs> maybe for other stuff as well in the future, but that's what's going to happen for now. You know, re highly requested. So... I agree to be honest, I've played quite a bit of drop zone myself. I think yeah, you saw quad semtex on drop zone carbon that I got, so you know, that would be nice. Um alright, next thing is on to weapon complaints. So guns like the M sixteen, model eighteen eighty seven, the PM nine, the MP five need a buff, basically. Or rebalancing and stuff like that. So M sixteen well what can you say? The fire rate, I would, to be honest, put it a bit faster because, to be honest, Time 95 and M16, there's no point having the M16 in the game when you've got the Time 95, one of the most powerful guns in the game. I think they need to maybe increase the damage slightly, increase the fire rate, decrease the recon, stuff like that. Secondly, the model, to be honest, I don't think the model's too bad. You can use it, but it's like all shotguns, you know, it's. All shotguns aren't that easy to use. Well, now anyway, because the striker's not that good. To be honest, I prefer the USAS 12 the most now. Especially as you see my Golden Gun gameplay with it. Or half Golden Gun gameplay. Um, so, yeah, the model, it's not that good. Well, people have been complaining it's not that good for a start. It's the slowest fire rate shotgun. It takes the longest to reload. And. Well, per shell, I should say, because the striker is the longest. But and the damage isn't that high. It's like medium. And considering if you if you get hit mark on your first shot, well, it takes a a long 
while after to t take your second shot through. And secondly, well not secondly, I should say thirdly, but I wasn't meant to say that. The next weapon is the PM9. Well, it's one of those guns where they're, they're going to buff it, but I've never really used a PM9, to be fair. So I don't really know what it's like. I've just heard it's bad, so... You know, I know the recoil's really high on it. Obviously, they would decreased the recoil, maybe increased the damage on it a bit. You know, stuff like that. But when you've got the MP7 you're competing with, the UMP's pretty good. But I just don't mix with it that well. But I decided, you know, I'll use the UMP because... The only challenges I've got left are my submachine guns, because I like to complete challenges. It's the UMP and the PM9, so I thought, yeah, UMP, let's go for that. Anyway, back on topic. Um, yeah, the UMP is competing with the MP7 and the PP90. You know, well, you may be thinking more about the MP5. Now, that's the next gun on the list. The MP5, it's all right, but I think they need to increase the damage on it, because the recoils, you know, it's... It's good, well, not good, I mean, as in, it's not that high, and it's just like the UMP, you might as well just use the UMP, you know. So they're just trying to make it so that more guns are being used. Um, and the riot shield could do with um, some, you know, wep uh, some changes, I should say, um, because... They don't have master and veteran challenges to carry over prestigious. So if you get like 10 kills with it in one prestige, it didn't carry over. So they're going to try and improve that. Or not improve it. They should implement it into the game. So there's master and veteran challenges to carry over after prestiging. And another thing is the hit deflection of the right shield, especially on the back. Now apparently, um... I don't know if the bullets actually deflect, but I think they don't at the minute. So if you have a right shield on your back and then bam, someone's shooting you in the back, the bullets don't deflect, I'm pretty sure. But if it's not, it's the opposite way around. So it shouldn't affect most people, but, you know, because I, I don't really see that many people with right shields on their back. Unless it's like in some sort of infected private match, that's probably the only time I've ever seen it. Um... And some other, just some random stuff. Um, final stand. So, if if you're killing someone and then they go into final stand and then the guy in final stand kills you and then one of your teammates comes along and kills him, he gets to kill. You get an assist. Now, I've got to admit, that's pretty annoying. So, what they're doing is now, if you put the guy in final stand, you get the kill. Now, that was... I think that wasn't the case in Black Ops, but I'm not too sure. I don't think it was. But anyway, that should have been in the game from the start, so I don't see why it wasn't. I mean, both players, so let's say if I put the guy in front of stand and my friend came along and killed him, we both know that he's, my friend, stole the kill. It's just obvious, and it's just annoying, and it's petty. Last point is, obviously, they've implemented the new playlist or new game modes, whatever, called Face Off into Modern Warfare 3. You know, it's 1v1, 2v2s, 3v3s, 3v3s, that kind of thing. So obviously, thinking about older Modern Warfare and not necessarily, <laughs> I was going to say Treyarch maps, but there isn't. So, um, Modern Warfare maps, so let's say Shipment, Rust, those kind of maps, apparently they're going to be making a remake of them so that you can use them in the face off gamers and that would be pretty awesome because they would be they'd definitely suit it like you know it'd just be so great because it, they're the exact right size for let's say a 1v1 that's why you always do 1v1 quick scopes model warfare 2 on rust and that kind of thing it's just what you're always used to do and shipment you'd always go into 1v1 with your friends or 2v2s, whatever, and 3v3s would still be alright, to be honest. It won't, I mean, considering Call of Duty 4, you'd get 6v6 game modes, I think sometimes even ground war on shipment on the rare occasion. So, I still think that it would be possible 3v3s, considering it used to be double that on Call of Duty 4.
well, obviously there's le there were less kill streaks, less perks, um, or less useful perks, and yeah, there's just more variety in the game now, which for some people's made it worse, some people made it better. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this golden gun gameplay of the MP7. Hope you have a nice day, and peace out, guys.